Hey there, it's Sydney with Tastely Frugal, and today's project is probably the coziest project I've ever made. If you are a fan of Christmas movies, I'm sure you've seen the SVG files or the blankets that say this is my Hallmark Christmas movie watching blanket or shirt or mug. So I am a big Christmas movie fan and I've seen the blankets all around and I wanted to make my own, but I wanted to try it a few different ways and find an affordable way to make it. And I'm happy to report that both of the ways that we did, the, uh, did these blankets were super easy and I'm really happy with the results. So for our pink blanket here, we used Caesar uh, Flock HTV. So Flock HTV gives uh, the look of embroidery. It's a little bit raised up, but I absolutely love the way it looks, especially with these blankets. And this gray one was a total experiment. I didn't know how it was going to turn out, but we used infusible ink on it and it turned out amazing. Um, I'll show you a close up. The colors are just so vibrant and I love the way that this blanket turned out. And this was a really affordable project too. I got these blankets and they're huge. I think they're like 90 by 90. They come in multiple sizes, but they were $10 at Walmart. So it is definitely an affordable project. If you are selling things, you can sell these and you know make a pretty good profit or they make a really good gift too. So we'll be doing, I want to show you how to make these blankets with the Flock HTV as well as the infusible ink. A few things with the infusible ink if you're making the blanket. Make sure that you have a high polyester count for the blanket. These blankets are 100% polyester, so that is why the colors look so good on it. Um, I'll also share some tips as we go through the video and the tutorial on how to cut and weed everything. Um, also how to layer the, H or the infusible ink because we don't layer, it's more of like a slicing technique. Um, and the designs, if you want either of these designs, they're in a bundle from Etsy. And I think there were seven or eight designs. I've linked it in the description to this video. I've also linked all of the different materials as well as the blankets in the video um, that we're using in the video in the description as well. So let's go ahead and hop on in and get started with the tutorial. Okay, first we are going to cut the material for the pink blanket. So this is the Flock HTV, the Caesar um, Strip Flock HTV. And the setting I used, they actually have a setting and design space called Flock Iron-On, and it cut through this perfectly. Now this is a thicker uh, HTV, so make sure that you use the standard grip mat, that uh, green mat. You don't wanna use the light grip um, or the blue mat, it just won't hold um, this Flock HTV as well as a standard grip mat does. Also, for both the Flock HTV and the infusible ink, which we'll cut next, make sure that you mirror your design and design space. Both of these products need, um, because they get applied with heat, you need to have the design mirrored. Another tip, when you are removing your material, no matter what it is from the mat, I always recommend pulling the mat away from your material instead of your material off your mat. Next, we are going to be using, um, or cutting the infusible ink. This is the black, and I always get this question when I cut infusible ink or show things. They're like, it looks black, but then it turns out brown. Don't worry if your infusible ink transfer sheets colors look dull or not like they look on the package. They are a duller color until heat is applied. Also, I suggest cutting the infusible ink transfer sheets also when you're working with small designs like we are here, the Tis the Season. Um, and the Christmas movies is a pretty small font. I suggest using the standard grip mat for this one as well. I did the light grip mat at first and it just didn't hold the infusible ink transfer sheets on there well enough. So I would use for this design, I would use a standard grip mat for infusible ink also. If you're cutting a larger design that doesn't have small pieces, you can definitely do it with a light grip mat with the transfer sheets. Once our designs are cut, then we will start with weeding. Um, one thing with weeding infusible ink, do not use a weeding tool. The weeding tool can press ink into the transfer sheet, which will put ink into your project where you don't want it. So when you are uh, weeding infusible ink, always use your fingers. If you need to bend um, or curl the design or the backing paper, that is totally fine. Um, it's pretty forgiving, so definitely do that. So we are going to weed the red part, the red truck. I've already read it, weeded the tree, and then we will put everything together for the whole blanket design. 
Another tip when working with infusible ink, I forgot to share with you, I get asked this a lot in our infusible ink group, is what if it shows the paper fibers or there's parts of the design that rip and you can see like the white on the transfer sheet? That is completely okay. If it looks like there's paper white on there and you can't get it off the transfer sheet, 100% okay, that is not going to transfer any color to your design. Like you can see it's ripping right here. I was able to get the whole thing up, but as long as you don't see the color of the transfer sheet, so like this black, if, as long as you don't see brown on it, if it's white, you are okay to leave that. It's not going to transfer anything um, to your project when you're done. Once we have everything weeded, we are going to take the separate pieces off of their each of their transfer sheets and line them up on the main one. So that is the black sheet that we're using. I'm lining up the truck first just because we already have the wheels there. Um, so it's easy to line that up. And then I will work on lining up the Hallmark one. Um, I got really nervous at first uh, because the H obviously is not connected to the rest of the word. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to layer every single letter but it worked out fine because all the other letters were connected. I highly suggest having your computer next to you so that you can look at the design and design space to make sure that you have everything spaced how it should, how it should be. Um, this material is very forgiving when you're putting it on the mat or on the, the one sheet, as you can see here, like I had lost an A down at the bottom, but I'm able to pick that back up and put it here. And I'll show you when we press it, you can't even tell that it wasn't attached. This design I absolutely love because every piece fit together perfectly. As you can see here with the tree, it just fits right there in the corner of the truck. So this was an awesome design to do with infusible ink. To prep your blanket, you'll want to clean it with a lint roller and then preheat it for about five seconds. We're going to press it 385 degrees for 40 seconds for this design. Once your blanket's preheated, you'll want to line it up with um, on the blanket and then just measure it to make sure it's centered put a piece of parchment paper on top and then again we're going to press for 385 uh, degrees for 40 seconds when you're using infusible ink you usually put a piece of cardstock between your easy press mat and your uh, material however because these blankets are th so thick i didn't do that and i didn't have any like bleeding through from the blanket onto the mat once it's pressed, you can peel the backing away. You don't have to wait for it to cool. And you have your Hallmark movie blanket. This turned out better than I could imagine. I really love the green in this tree and I love how the colors all pop together. Now let's talk about this Flock HTV. I really was impressed with this material. It's kind of hard to see here, but it looks velvety. Let me show you on the material that I weeded, but it has like a velvet feel to it and it was so easy to weed. I was surprised at how easy it was to weed this material. Um, but let's go ahead and apply it to the blanket. For this material, we are going to do it at 315 degrees for 20 seconds. Just like we did with the infusible ink, we are going to line up our design and then measure it. But with this material, you don't need um, a parchment paper or backer you can just press with your easy press right on this, the flock HTV. And again, we're doing 315 for 20 or for 15 seconds, not 20 seconds. I apologize. I do like to let the HTV uh, cool a little bit before I peel. And I will say with the flock HTV, it is really strong. So you might have to pull a little bit. It's not because it's not sticking. It's just because it's a thicker material. Um, so you can see here that I'm pulling with some pressure. Uh, but everything stuck on the blanket really well. It's just a thicker material. But I am really impressed with how this uh, Flock HTV looks on the blanket. It really does look embroidered and it looks like it's part of the blanket, not iron-on on top. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I enjoyed making it. Just touching these blankets makes me want to go curl up on the couch and watch a Christmas movie, which I think I'm going to do right about now. But I have linked everything that I used for these tutorials in the description for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And I would love to have you subscribe to Tastefully Frugal for more Cricut tips, tricks, and tutorials. Have a great day.